Tiger Prism dashboards allow you to have a great insight into your telephony estate. This tutorial will take you through the basics of how to control the dashboards. The first thing we will look at is the CDR source selector. This is the same on every screen. To select a CDR source, set the slider to yes or to no. Once you're complete, click select. You can also choose which tree and which you wish to run your dashboard against. Again, to select a tree, simply select the tree from the drop down menu. Within the dashboards, there are multiple directory item selectors. In this instance, this directory item selector allows you to tick and untick items you wish to see. You also have the ability to search for items. Simply type in the name of the item you'd like to see. You can then click on the search button or press enter. You can then switch between the items. You then have the ability to unselect all matches or select matches. You can then unselect all items from here and you can then select the items that you wish to see in the dashboard. If you select the parent item, it will automatically select all the child items. You can then select or unselect specific items at that point. Once you have selected all your items, click select and the dashboard will then reflect the view. There are other dashboards directory selectors available. For example, in the incoming performance dashboard, the directory item selector works in a slightly different way. Again, you have the ability to search for a particular person or department. What you can then do in this one, rather than ticking the boxes, is you can drag and drop the item from left to right or if you would like to insert all the child items under the parent, click on the cog and select all child items. What you will then need to do is tidy up the right hand side by removing all the items that you don't want to see. Once you've done this, click select and this dashboard will then reflect the item selected, showing the total of the department level and the total for all the individuals. Within certain dashboards, you can define the call direction. You can choose whether you would like to see incoming or internal or incoming and internal. You can also specify the dates by simply clicking on quick dates and selecting predefined dates from the drop down list. Or you could choose specific dates. Specific dates then allow you to choose a start date and an end date. On particular dashboards, you will also have a real-time option. The real-time option will hide the top graph, but all it will do is refresh the dashboard every 60 seconds. Also available on every screen is the option to hide the graph here. Also, you can choose different legends. Also available on every screen, where you see a square box here, these boxes are interactive. By clicking on these boxes, they will filter the itemized calls in the bottom window. So if I want to see all my unanswered calls, I could select unanswered and it will filter my calls. The final option that you will see on most dashboards is the measures. The measures will allow you to change the top graph to reflect either in this instance, duration, cost, or volume, allowing you to assess information throughout the month. So if I select cost, I can see which days are the most expensive. Thank you for watching. We hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. And if there is anything else you would like to learn about Tiger Prism and its other modules, please visit www.tigercoms.com for more tutorials and information.